हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम विनय फ्रॉम सिंहगड कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग पुणे माय डिपार्टमेंटचे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग सायन्सेस अँड टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट स्टिरिओग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन्स नाव दिस इज आर मॉडल मॉडल ऑफ स्टिरिओग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन्स दिस लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस इज द प्लेन of which we have to take the projections and then this is the 3d sphere we have considered here a sphere uh, of unit radius so generally when we have to represent any 2d plane on a 3d figure uh, such as sphere then we have to use stereographic projections we cannot directly take and paste the plane uh, on the sphere so this is how we do it if we see then we have to consider a projection point and then we will consider any point uh, let us say its coordinates are x comma y then we will join these two points with a straight line and then we see that this line cuts the sphere at exactly two points the one is here and the one on the pole so as we can see every line cuts Uh, the sphere at the pole so we can neglect the pole hence we can say that this point is projected uh, on this point of the sphere so this correspondence or this relation between the points on the plane and the points on the sphere is called stereographic projection so as you can see we have prepared a chart for you all for simplification so let us consider an extended complex plane extended complex plane means its dimensions are infinite let uh, let us represent the extended complex plane by c infinity now let us consider the riemann sphere that is uh, it is equation uh, radius of the sphere is 1 then let us consider a point on the plane with coordinates x comma i y we have pole as 0 comma 0 comma 1 now if we uh, need to write the equation uh, of the line passing through these two points then we can write it as x minus x1 minus x upon 0 minus x is equal to x2 minus y upon 0 minus y is equal to x3 minus 0 upon 1 minus 0 this we get the equation of line now let, uh, let us write the equation of the sphere so we get the equation as x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square equal to 1 now if we need to find the intersection point of this line and the sphere then we have to solve these two equations simultaneously let us put this e this equation of line equal to t so we can rearrange uh, these terms and get value of x1 as x into 1 minus t x2 equal to y into 1 minus t and x3 equal to t so we will put these values of x1 x2 and x3 in equation of the sphere so by solving this we get the value of t as mod z square minus 1 upon mod of z square plus 1 mod of z equal to under root x square plus y square now again we will put these a uh, value of t in these three equations so we will get the relation of x1 x2 and x3 in terms of x and y so we get x1 equal to x bracket z upon mod z square plus 1 x2 is equals to y bracket z upon mod z square plus 1 and x3 as mod of z square minus 1 upon mod z square plus 1 if i need to map the points of on the sphere on the plane then we can rearrange this same equation and get the relation of x and y in terms of x1 x2 and x3 so here we get x equal to x1 upon 1 minus x3 and y equal to x2 upon 1 minus x3 so by here uh, we can say that if we know the coordinates of this point then we can directly find the coordinates of this point and if we know vice versa like if we know the coordinates of these points then we can uh, find the coordinates of this point on the plane now let us see the applications of the stereographic projections the main application of the stereographic projections is mapping so as we can see from ancient times to the modern times we use stereographic projections for mapping so these are three different types of projections we take 
for different type of mapping and analyzing techniques so let us say we need to analyze the part which comes near the equator so what we will do we will keep the axis and the equator at 90 degree and then we will take the projections from the projection point then we will get the image something like this so this is uh, the main image looks like this so this is called as equatorial projections the next type of projection is polar projections uh, where we will keep the equator and the axis coinciding to each other then we will take the projections from the projections point on the plane of projection and then we will get the image of the north pole so it looks like this uh, let us go to the third part third part is the oblique projections uh, here we keep the equator and the axis at an angle the required angle from which we want to analyze uh, and the same way we take the projections of the each point and then we will, we will get the oblique projections Hello friends, I am Uma from Sehagar College of Engineering from Department of Engineering Sciences. I would continue with the application of stereographic projections. As you would have heard that NASA have found a star this much light years away from sun. How do they do this? They consider the uh, universe as a 2D, 2D infinite plane. Let's see like if a star is located on this point so the position of that star they consider to be a point and using the formula as you have seen earlier using this formula of the infinite point you can calculate the distance of that star from the sun the other important application of this is in defense to study the projectile of the guided missile uh, there, the earth surface is considered to be a 2D plane, uh, moreover we know that earth is a 3D sphere. Hope so you enjoyed watching this, thank you.